Oh my God, you guys are gonna love this one. What's up, boss? You the driver? How did you do this? I don't know about putting the bag. You don't know? I still in the morning. You've been here since the morning? The cops somebody, haven't came yet? Somebody tell me, I tell me like a oh, engine oil fridge. But somebody put it again, but a little bit on the back. But simple, you can see like I tell you. Also, your truck's messed up. Yeah. His truck's messed up. His truck's messed up? Yeah. That's why. Can you turn it on? Well, we got this call for uh, a tractor trailer into a building stuck. Responded with two rotators. And he's blocking the street. It just seems like a mechanical issue, man. Sounds like a belt, no? It's a uh, stand clutch. The stand clutch? Maybe if that guy honks some more, this guy will just move. Oh, yeah, dude, there's all the space in the world. Yeah. I just wish those stupid lines weren't up ahead. My arch nemesis. Mine. Mine too. <laughs> yeah, one. So the easy solution would be if he can't, I guess, get it on and move it. Maybe we could release the brakes. Yeah, and then you get people like this that have no common sense. You see, you see the cone right there. This thing's obviously not moving. All that time spent honking and being mad, you could have just went around. This is a very industrial area, so there's lots of spots to do that. It's like the gate, but it can, it's like, it don't move whatsoever. No. But everything is okay, but you can move. Do you have to go in there? No. You have to get out. Are you loaded? Yeah, almost six pallets. Six pallets? On no way. No, I'm empty here, but I'm stuck to steal in the morning like a night. Uh, Do you have a mechanic in route? Somebody's tell me, but put in the oil change in the transmission. But you got to do it right here, huh? So you want us to put the trailer like right here against the curb? This trailer? No, like me, put on the street. Because it can be blocking. Oh yeah, I'm going to deliver. Well, I don't know, you can see, like listen to the song. You want to just put him right here against the curb so the mechanic can work on him? Look at his mechanic in the mini, in the mom van. But he's got the, the Dickies coveralls on. Let me talk to the mechanic. I don't want to be blocking the shit much longer. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? You the mechanic for homeboy? You know what? Actually, I, I, I ran into him like being stuck right here. You know what I mean? So then um, I told him, you know what? Like, it, it smells like it. you don't have no oil on your tranny. And sure thing, he was missing the whole jug. <laughs> so he, I took out like this much. Took out like this. That, that's how I took out like this much out of the transmission. So like he printed out his booster. I mean his um gear, uh, gearbox or something. Oh man. So he's. I don't know what to tell. All right, what we're gonna do, man, is we're gonna get him to the curb so we can call or you can fix it or whoever can fix it because I can't have him blocking. For sure, for sure, man. Like you know, honestly. I got a couple of ideas. None of them are going to work off the side, though. We're both going to back up to it from opposite directions. What a weird job, huh? <laughs> we can't push him back. That's a steep hill too. You have mad room on that side now. Okay. 
So we want the rear of his trailer right here, huh? And we'll, we'll, the cab will have to face that way. That's possible, dude. He's got that bumper, though. Can't lift from there. I can't separate it. There's, there's no room to split it. You're already up on the curb. It's too dangerous to push it backwards because he's got some load in it and it's a steep hill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pick up the entire thing and put it up against this curb. You guys are beast. <laughs> <laughs> so once we do that and it's not blocking, are you gonna honestly be, honestly um you're gonna be his mechanic or something? You know what? No. Um He's gonna take it to Kenworth. He's gonna take it to the dealer. He was actually gonna wait for footprint. Can I just go in and take it to the I thought you was gonna be you guys, but I, I know you guys know. Well, it came in as a winch out. They gave us a job as a winch out of track and trailer stuck. I, I said, told you already, yeah. we'll send the picture, but I'm, I'm so scared. But he's like, he can go. Especially not that hard of a job. Just gotta find out exactly what the guy wants, and now he wants to take it to a dealer. Well, the easy thing is to just pick it up, face the tractor this way, and that's it. And then hook up to it and pull forward to straighten out. Right? Okay. Man, that's the easiest, easiest way. Because he's got all this, he's got all this room. Can we just do that and be done with it? Okay, man, we gotta discuss some, uh, you wanna take this to the dealer, right? Is that what you want to do? Yes. So where you want to take it to and then Kenworth, they don't take trailers. Okay, did it. Have you talked to them yet? The I'm dealer? Before somebody tell you, I'm uh, other boss trailer. But trailer is my boss. I should have told you, drop there, but he said no. Because we got to find out what to do with the trailer. We can get it right here. Don't worry. We, we can get it against the curb, so it's out of the way, not blocking. And from there, we can tow the tractor to, to Kenworth, yes. But what are you gonna do with the trailer? So if you put it back in there, you can... Uh, you can leave it there? Yeah, I'll leave it there. I'm asking somebody. You would ask somebody or you don't know? No, no, somebody have inside. I'm told you somebody will move it. After somebody, another truck coming, can move it. You know, like have the load weekend, somebody knows what to I could do that. Yeah. You just lift it up from the front and then winch and let the cables out slowly. It's a funny job, dude. Yeah. Asking for the boat? You know what I'll do too, is once you have lift up on the front of the tractor, just release the brakes because the brakes it should have air. And when you lift up, it'll push it back down. It could stay? Yeah, it's kind of like a, go a little bit back on the back. Okay, let me give you some pricing then because uh, I'm going to work out what it's going to cost and what we're going to do. If this is going to stay, that makes it easier. I'm going to get a, one of these trucks and drive it around to back up. We're going to lift up the front of your tractor, release the brakes, 
and this is gonna roll back a little bit. Then that'll give us a lot of room. Then we can split your tractor and winch it right here against the curb so we could tow it. And then I'll use the other truck to back in this trailer. We'll put it right here, right in front of that loading dock. We'll do that. I'll just roll a tractor. So you're looking at a... What an interesting job. There's a slight language barrier, but now I understand. So he's got issues, whatever that might be with the tractor. The tractor needs to go to the dealership. It's Labor Day weekend. They're not open again until Tuesday. The trailer can stay here. So, um, no real need for two rotators or anything crazy or even one rotator. But we're here and we're gonna do the job. We worked it out with the guy. We're gonna store the tractor for him until Tuesday deliver it to the dealership then, use my tractor to back this into the dock. And Alex, just to clear the scene, he's gonna come around here through Bandini Boulevard, back up to it. We're gonna lift the front of the tractor to straighten it out. Push it a little bit that way. Then we're gonna release the brakes. So this will roll back a little bit. Once we get it enough, uh, set the brakes again, obviously. Then we'll drop the landing gear, split it, and pull out the tractor, winch it out this way. From there, Hulk's gonna just rear tow it back to my yard, and my tractor will back this in fully into that loading dock. Easy job. Now, it would have been cool and fun To, uh, do this with two rotators and lift up the whole thing, but it's not necessary. Nor would anyone pay that exorbitant price. And actually, I think Alex is gonna do the whole job from here. So, lift up the front. Yeah, straighten it out. Straighten it out, and once it's straightened out, release the brake, I'll be in the cab, release the brakes, and once I start feeling it go, and I'll hit them again, split it, and I rear tow it. Ridiculously easy. Are you gonna steer it in? Huh? You gonna steer it in? I don't know. Yeah, but not fully. Yeah. Okay, just backed up Hulk and you turned it. We got a quite simple game plan. Like I was saying, yeah, we would love to just pick up the whole thing and do some crazy stuff, but with the budget this guy has, I'm gonna do it the easy, cheap way. Alex is gonna lift, straighten it up, and push it back while I steer the thing. It doesn't run, it doesn't drive, but uh, it could build air. So I'll release the brakes and while he has me attached to the front, um, I'm gonna be controlling this thing to back up into this loading dock. Now once that happens, then Alex can just winch me back up after I split it. And by the time he winches it back up and pulls it out here, I'll steer it out this way and then set it directly onto my underlift. Do you have headsets in here? No? No, I do. And you do. Can hang on top. But we'll use mine. I love my SETCOM headsets. Not something I use enough. But we're gonna need them on this job. Should be 
fairly easy. Eight foot Robinson just doubled up. Got to clear his bumper. A little bit of a lift, push me back. I got my Setcom wireless headsets. Love these because they don't require a base station. You just turn them on and they're instantly connected. And then I'll just be inside the truck and steer it. Alright, track their brakes release, bro. Oh yeah, it's rolling easy. Let me set those. Alright, go for it. Straighten me out, please. <laughs> this is cool. Pretty nice in here. Yeah. It looks brand new. Imagine you flip me. And you can just get it close to flipper so as it backs up like he said it'll correct itself huh? Are the tractor brakes set? Uh, release those. Just a tractor. Yeah. I wonder why it's fighting this so much. The you gotta put oh, all because you went on the you're on the ledge.
over the hump. Hold the brakes. I gotta push you. I maxed out. Hold it right there. Boom out. Okay, hold the brakes. Hold the hold the brakes. Huh? Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Huh? You're good. I don't think it's releasing fast enough for the for you to uh, let it go though. Yeah, I'm gonna back up. Anyway. Yeah, cause it's still over here. Straighten out your wheels. No. No, right there. Ready? Hold on. Let me, actually, let me lift you. Let me let me lower you and get square with it. Yeah. Right there or 
pay somebody so what are you gonna do with the trailer after after i said to leave somebody say after finishing take a you yard trailer after we're gonna take what to the yard the trailer you yard. oh he thinks we're taking the whole thing to the trail to the yard it was just a tractor yeah tell me somebody yeah because you were supposed to ask him if you could store it here yeah, not if you he, could offload he, he, somebody tell me but he's uh, morning time somebody come to uh, uh, like customer take it, take it, take it, take it so I you're gonna leave the trailer here no yeah yeah that's what we asked you yeah but if that was the case i wouldn't even have brought it in yeah there was no point Yeah, that's what we asked him, and, and I guess he went to go inside to ask, and he said that we could leave it here. So what, what, that's the only reason why we did this. But I'm not have any any of my friends No here. hotel, nothing? No, it gets better and better. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I'm so low, so everything. But I'm today low on the load. Somebody booked me. I'm picking up like this fridge, you know? Somebody Laraka extra charge for $500. Well, where are you going to stay when your truck's in the shop? <laughs> <laughs> you sleep inside the can we sleep at the You can't sleep at the dealer? I was on my after four o'clock too. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Man, the job that just keeps on giving. I had mentioned the language barrier earlier. It's not to be rude, it's not an insult. I'm Mexican myself, but uh, I don't think this guy was able to communicate clearly. Oh my gloves are this way. On what exactly uh, he spoke to with these people in here. We were under the oppression and so was he that once we put the trailer, we did all that work to put it there in the loading dock. Now once we did that, it could stay there, but now the, the guy came out and said, no, that thing has to be closed up and he can't leave it. So my dad's in route with the tractor. We're gonna split it here. By the time we get the tractor out of here, my good one will be here. Get my gloves on. Ugh. About this trailer? Nah, he was in good spirits. He's at the shop right now. Oh, I just leaked all over myself. There was water in the, in the landing gear. In the spindle and I got it all over me. When my tractor gets here, the good one, he'll be able to go forward, draw everything. Oh, so you gotta bring that one back. Uh, another tractor's gonna come, a good one. Because this has to get stored at a secondary yard. We don't have any room at the yard, at the local yard. You wouldn't have an ETA on that one? ETA? Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the time this thing, everything, no, no. By the time this thing is split and out of the street, the tractor should be here in like 10 minutes. Release the tractor brakes. That'll push it back. The brakes release. Yeah. You got it. Fix some elbow grease. All right, winch it out.
I don't think my dad's gonna be able to get under that. I should have blocked it, huh? Unless the bags are raised up. Oh, we'll see. Should be fine. Now for the fun part. Flipper more towards the opposite side. I'll push it towards that building. Maybe if I bring it out all the way, and then I'll back this. Set the brakes, please. funny part is my initial plan would have worked perfect I'm just splitting this right here and bringing in the tractor from the get-go again that lack of communication from the driver here what makes this very difficult I mean you can tell right here the front's touching and it's it's our suit steep down hard is that the front of the tractor has to be fully airborne for it to roll back but when you do that I have no steering it was very difficult to do. Very difficult. But now we're back to our original game plan. I'm gonna bring it out and then crank it. Perfect. How's that outrigger looking? I am. Brakes help. Brakes release. Let me know when to hold again. Man, these headphones are so cool. Let me start using them more. Yes, please. One more pull, okay? Extend out all the way. Let me see, how does that work? Oh, why don't you do the rear now? Duh. Close. 
what we're going to do is straighten up the back a little bit. In fact, let me start dropping my underwear. So I can hook and book. I love rear towing these things. We don't got to drop drive shaft, shoot air. Oh, there's my dad right there. I see him at the end of the street. So Hello. The trailer's right there in that gate. If you want you to back up behind this Honda. Yeah. Just turn it. Be a really cool motion as soon as you do this and get it straight my dad will already be backing in here and i'll back up straight to it by the time i do that and i'm done my dad will be unclipped to the trailer we'll leave all at the same time Cribbing the chalk in the front tires so it can't roll when he lifts. Man, the irony. This would have been done so long ago. Not bad, Alex. Just watch out for the shredder. That's my dad's nickname, the shredder. <laughs> now YouTube knows my secret. They think I'm a kind old gentleman. Good. Drop the bag. You're gonna need to. Oh, perfect. Good job, Dad. My goodness. Wow. You know what's in there too, huh? Oh yeah, can you do this part? Hook up the airlines and then uh, if you could drop that landing gear, please raise it, I mean, so I can hook up the tractor. Well, I gotta get that on video before I back up. Let me see those socks. You got mismatched socks. How did that happen? Who dressed you today, sir?
to stay because he has nowhere to stay. I know. That's the easy part. Hotel or something. You don't want to stay at the shop. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, more, keep going in. Good, hold it there. I was outside, Alex. Push that one out. Push it out. How's that? Tilt up? Go out, go out. Hold on. No. What do I do, bro? Go out a little bit? No, tilt up for me. Okay. Okay, now go in, Dad. Tilt up. I'm in. How are you? In. You're in like Flynn, Dad. Thank you. Oh, you're in. Camera was this much. Almost crushed it? Yeah. All right, guys, let me uh, put my chains on and I'll get back to you. All right, let me raise up the underlift. Alex, is the steering wheel tied? I'll do that right now. Papita's job, guys a lot longer than expected because we thought that uh, from what the guy told us the trailer was gonna stay here but I got hook hooked up Alex tied up the axle with the 3 8 chain I throw in a light bar oh there goes my dad thank you dad of course it works the switch is right here it's a brand new light bar you can tell because it has no grease or anything on it. Yeah, we had to fold it down. We'll put it up right now. All right, guys. Fun job. Back to my yard. Hope you enjoy this fun job. <laughs> no other way to put it. Peace.